Uh, hi, I'm Nitin Gidia. I uh, did my B.Tech from uh, NIT Durgapur in Electrical Engineering. Post that, I was recruited in ITC Limited uh, as a project engineer where I worked for around four years in construction projects. And I have recently completed my MBA from Indian School of Business. And currently, I am working uh, in the field of merchandising in uh, Bharti Walmart. Uh, broadly speaking, there are two kinds of fields where you can go to. Uh, one is of course there is a huge demand of manpower in the IT industry. So uh, people from electrical engineering are recruited in a big way in this industry. Second of course you can uh, pursue your own stream that is the electrical field and then you will end up uh, if you ask me about good jobs. Uh, there are many PSUs that of offer uh, uh, good jobs otherwise you can go to any core industry be it construction, be it uh, you know, be it electrical, be it energy, oil, everything, uh, every uh, if, uh, industry which is in the core sector do have requirement of electrical engineers. If you are really technically inclined, I don't think industry is the place where you like to be in. So you should have an MS degree and do a PhD and probably later on you can move to some companies who have such kind of profile, you do research, hardcore research. Otherwise, if you are there in the electrical line, uh, I, I mean, if you ask me, I don't see uh, you will have a technical kind of a job for let's say more than four to five years. Whatever technical knowledge you have, gradually you will move into a vendor management kind of role, a people management kind of a role, and you will end up having a managerial uh, position as such. Uh, so I will talk about a typical uh, electric engine graduate who, who comes to the industry. So I am talking more from a project management point of view. Uh, just to give you a brief thing, a project management profession can be in any industry. It might be in construction, it might be oil and gas, it might be in power plant, wherever there is involvement of a construction of a new plant. So typical day will end up depending on the phase of the project. Say let's say the project is in the execution mode. Uh, every day you will have your meeting with your project manager uh, where you will sit with your entire team, the vendors, your other peers, discuss what were the bottlenecks that you faced the earlier day, discuss the progress of the earlier day, develop the plan for this day and also foresee if there are any bottlenecks and can be resolved in the meeting itself. After that, you will have a side round with your contractors and with your manager. See that whatever the contractor has committed, whether those things have actually you know, been put to place or not. And um, uh, after that, probably you will return to office. Uh, you, you will end up uh, handing some mails that have come to you. Uh, you will end up uh, probably signing invoices that your contractor, contractor has submitted for, for the payments. And after that, you will end up uh, reviewing the design that they, the consultant has given. Because at any point of time, there is some stage of the project that has to be done in the future. So the design part of it is something that you have to review now. Uh, post that, what I think, you will again have a site round and uh, see what the progress that is going on in site, do some quality checks, uh, etc., etc. And uh, that is how your uh, day will close. So, the reason why people do MBA right after college, if you ask me, is more of a rat race. Uh, people do see uh, news about uh, your higher pay packages and also there is that uh, feeling of handling the business as a whole rather than a technical side of it. I mean, if you just pursue uh, your line in a technical stream, there, there is some limitation when you rise higher up the ladder. Uh, if you ask me about people who do it after two to three years of work experience, then again, there can be varied reasons. So one, what I think is, uh, you might feel that the job that you are uh, in has uh, reached a point where you where you don't find it challenging enough or it becomes very repetitive. So you want to explore what other avenues are there in line and of course from a business point of view it does help because uh, you, the moment you have a business degree there are no limitations. You can handle the business as a whole rather than being limited to the technical side. Otherwise also there can be one other reason maybe there are many people who want to start their own venture. So I see in that respect, people want to do an MBA because they develop their own network. They also understand business as a whole. That can be one other reason I can think of.